Hi everybody, Chevy and Breezy here. And today I'm gonna answer a question that I got. And the question is, when is it too cold to ride? I have a couple of people commenting that they wanna join the winter challenge, but it's just too darn cold for them to ride. And they don't think that with the weather that they can ride three days a week. And first I wanna share with you that I understand. I live in Wisconsin. It is cold here. Actually, today's not too bad, but it does get really, really cold here. So there's snow, there's cold, there's wind, and if I can do it, I think you can too. So some considerations though to riding when it's cold. And the first consideration is what, what condition is your horse in? Is your horse, is he healthy? Is he in good flesh? Is he sound? And then where is your horse used to living? If you have a horse that is used to living in a heated barn and he doesn't have a very thick winter coat and he spends most of his time inside, then yeah, you probably shouldn't be riding him outside when it's 10 degrees out and cold and snowy. However, if your horse lives outside and he's in good condition, has a good hair coat, then it's probably just fine to go out on that 10 degree day and take him for a little ride. So match the conditions that you're riding in to the conditions that your horse usually lives in. So Breezy here, he lives out in a little pasture. He does have a three-sided shelter, automatic waterers, like don't worry, poor ranch horse Breezy is just fine. But he's used to being outside. He has a good hair coat, he's in good shape. The next consideration then that I would take into effect is the work that you are doing when you're riding. Now, when it's 10 degrees out, you might just wanna walk and maybe trot just a little bit. You're not gonna to want to do a lot of loping because when you're doing the loping, that's gonna be harder on their lungs. So again, match what you're doing to the conditions. If you're worried about it being snowy and icy, again, match what you're doing to the conditions that you're in. Other considerations too, like with Ranch Horse Breezy here, even in the winter when he's got a big hair coat, I don't want him to get sweaty when we're out in riding in the cold, when we're checking cattle, when we're checking fence, when we're just stretching our legs and going down to get the mail. You wanna make sure that when you're riding in the cold that you're not letting them get wet. If they do get wet, you need to make sure that you spend a lot of time cooling them down, get a cooler, get them dry before you put them back out. That warm up time and that cool down time is really, really, really important when you're riding in the cold so that you're not pushing them too hard too fast so that they don't injure their muscles or anything like that. So matching the conditions that your horse is used to, the conditions of what's safe to ride in. Another thing too is proper clothing. For you, obviously, because it's gonna be cold, but for the horse. So if I am taking Breezy out on one of those really cold, windy days and we have to go out and check the herd, I might put a quarter sheet on him and a quarter sheet goes underneath the saddle and covers his haunches so that his haunches, which is a big muscle mass where you're gonna lose a lot of heat, that they stay warm. So keep in mind those couple of things. Remember that your horse is a lot tougher than you think and you are a lot tougher than you think and that you can, you can still ride and do stuff with your horse even in January in Wisconsin. It's possible might not be a lot of loping, it might not be a lot of hard stops, it might not be spins, but you can still get out there, you can walk, you can exercise your horse, you can keep doing things, and you can keep making progress towards your goals, keeping your horse fit. You just have to get gritty and go out there and ride. Thanks.